Well, hello. This is Amanda with Teas Original Arts. And hopefully my GoPro stays precariously perched atop my tripod. As you can see, I've already got my cups mixed here. Um, I used, in my big cups, I used uh, two ounces of my um, medium, which is six ounces of Floetrol, four ounces of PVA glue, and two ounces of GAC 800. So I did a two to one. So I put two ounces of that in a cup and then one ounce of paint. Um, I used, I'm trying, Arteza medium gold. That stuff was super thick. And then I've got Deco Art um, Americana True Blue. I've got uh, Bright Orange. I've got some Apple Barrel Turquoise. And I've got some Apple Barrel Wild Iris. Um, in this bottle here, I've got some Liquitex Titanium White uh, mixed with the same formula. And so I went ahead and I layered my cups. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get them on the canvas. I taped the back of the canvas with frog tape. Uh, it's not uh, gallery wrapped. You'll notice in the, the bottom of the cups, I put orange in first. That's because the gal that I'm making these for really likes orange. And so I thought I would put orange in first just to see how it goes. And so I know I'm going to have enough paint here. I'm just going to flip these over. I'm going to stagger them, one on each end. I'm going to leave them sit. While I talk to you for a couple minutes and then I'll tell you how I layered them. And we're just gonna go one, two, three, flip over. There's one. One, two, three, flip over. There's two. <laughs> one, two, three. We'll do this one down here. I'll hold on up here. Just in case I'm too muscular. Flip over. There's three. Got a little leakage there. And last one. So when I layered these, uh, I've been trying a couple new things. Uh, one of them is I'm trying not to uh, layer my stuff any more than two times, uh, which I did. Uh, the second thing I did different on this one Usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a couple drops of my um, coconut milk uh, serum. It's just oil. I'll, I usually put a, a silicone oil, a couple drops um, in a couple colors, and then I just fold it in a few times. That really helps with cells. So uh, I did not do it that way this time. This time I tried something new. I tried... Uh, layering it in. So I started with the orange and then I did some blue and then I did a little bit of white and then I did a little bit of purple and then I did a couple drops of the coconut milk in each cup. And then I did some gold and then I did some blue and then I did some white and then I did some orange and then I did a couple drops of coconut milk in each cup. And so that's pretty much how I progressed back and forth. And so when I get ready to pull my cups, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go this way and then this way and then this way and then this way. And then we'll see what happens. Hopefully I get lots of really good cells and they're great big round juicy ones. torch already. I don't know I'm going to need it. And then I've got my white in case I need it for the corners. And this is the first time I've put orange in the bottom of a cup. So we'll see how that's going to look. All right, let's move this over here a little bit. 
Oh boy, this. It's kind of getting gets a little bit more action on the outside, but there's a diagonal here. See what I'm doing? I'm getting a dark line across there. All right. I'm gonna set this cup on its side right here for a minute. I might need it. All right. So this one I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go like that. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Come on. Got the dropsies this morning. I won't even tell you what I did off camera. Let's just say it was terrible, 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 terrible. Right, I'll grab it up there like that. I'll put this one over here. Got some cool stuff coming down here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on this corner. Corners are kind of hard to do. There, that's gonna be fun. Back this way and go up here. Oh, that's going to be neat. Corners are typically kind of kind of hard to do because uh, you know your your paint doesn't want to flow down the corner. It'll flow down the sides, but doesn't typically want to flow down the corners. So you'll see a lot of artists try to help it. I like to make designs across. See my pour? scooch that cup out far enough but that's okay I'm gonna be doing a lot of tilting here today which is fine because a lot of you really like to see the tilts going on all right keep those cups on their sides and we'll hit these with the torch real quick <laughs> Get some of the cells popping up. If cells don't pop up right away, they're probably not gonna pop up. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my light right here, right here. This section here, up in here, there. Oh, I'm gonna use it here too because I don't want that to roll off. I like that side the way it's looking. All right, and let's give this a shot. See what happens. I'm just gonna go side to side first. Get my the width of my canvas going back to the middle. Things are really starting to stretch out, which is good. That's what we want. So I got some new um, PVA glue. I was using glue ball and there was uh, 
a lot of discussion among people who discuss these types of things <laughs> about PVA glue and whether or not it was archival and Elmer's glue and whether or not it was archival. And uh, a friend of mine has um, somebody that she knows that, I don't know what their exact, I really like that. Look at how nice that's looking. I really don't know what the person's exact job title is, but they do something with archival art. Anyway. I guess, long story short, Elmer's glue all, they said, was archival. So, you know, if you're, if you're looking for a more affordable solution for a pouring medium, look at how nice that's going to look. Look at that up there. I, uh, I usually don't wear gloves. <laughs> I like finger painting. Yes, I, I think I got plenty of paint on this canvas. Anyway, if you're looking for a more um, economical solution for a pouring medium, you don't want to spend the big bucks for uh, PVA glues because they, you know, pouring mediums can be kind of spendy, then you can certainly get Elmer's glue all. It, it's not very expensive. You know, it's, it's pretty darn inexpensive as pouring mediums go. All right. I'm gonna go this way. I'm going to go back up this way because I like to get some, I don't want to just have linear straight lines. I like to get some zig to my zag, if you know what I mean. I like to get some bob to my weave. This is really, really, really looking good. I think she's going to be happy. You know we were talking about pouring mediums. I want to finish up that conversation before I go on to my next topic of discussion. But, um, oh, look at that. I love it. I love it. Uh, let's see what color do I want to throw down here. Let's throw some of this one right here. So I keep my extra cup handy so that I can do this on the sides that I want to throw a little extra paint on. But anyway, yeah, pouring mediums, it's some people swear by just Floetrol and water, or not water, Floetrol and paint. Um, some people swear by um, glue and water. Uh, I will tell you what I used one time that I will never use again. I used Floetrol and glue one-to-one. -one. And, yeah, that did not work. Matter of fact, it ruined some paintings because they were so beautiful. And then the next day, they were cracked. I mean, bad cracked. And so I was like, well, live and learn. I'll never use that again. I gotta wipe off my hands. So, yep, I will never use Floetrol and glue one-to-one -one again, for as long as I live, amen. But I have tried a couple different glues. This is a brand new PVA glue, like I was telling you. So we'll see, so far, I'm really liking it. I 
just going to do some more tipping here. My white stripe. See my white stripe up there? I kind of like him to move a little bit diagonally, so I'm going to try and tip him down just a smidge. I don't want to lose my cells though. Oh my goodness, this is looking so good. I have, I have a lot of paint on here. This is going to take forever to dry, but that's okay. We have until Christmas. Here we go. So I probably will hit it with a torch one more time. 